lovelies, it's Miss Sadie Lace here with my next fabulous video. Before we get started today, I just wanted to say thank you so much to all my friends on YouTube for all your love and support with my videos. I'm slowly starting to see my channel grow and I just wanted you to know that it means the world to me that you've come along with me on this journey. Today I have you a glamorous video where I'm going to be chatting about true vintage dress care and I'm going to be giving a little bit of a tutorial on how I cleaned the dress I'm wearing today. For my big trip to America, America, I've been very busy preparing, planning, and cleaning all the outfits I want to bring along with me. I'd just like to start by clarifying that I'm definitely no expert in this area, but I'd rather be sharing the knowledge and research that I've done on vintage fashion. I would highly recommend erring on the side of caution when you're caring for your vintage dresses. They can be very fragile as they can be very old items, so definitely be very careful. So let's get started with how I cleaned this dress. Step one is to repair. Before you actually start cleaning and laundering items, you want to make sure that they're completely hole free, there's no seams that have holes, or any other imperfections. You see, as when you clean your item, you may actually create further damage by not repairing it first. For the dress I'm wearing today, I actually didn't think it had any imperfections, but once I actually sat down and looked over the garment, I realized there were quite a few holes, quite a few seams that needed repairing. So even if you think you don't need to repair the item, just take a moment to look over it and then repair anything that needs to be repaired. For my vintage dress repair, generally I will hand stitch things to fix them. I find with a hand stitch it's a little bit easier to correct if you make a mistake, a little bit easier to cut those stitches out of place. And with fragile items, this is usually my go-to move. With some items though, with a more major repair, I will use my machine to fix it up. For this specific dress, I've just used a little bit of a back stitch, I guess you'd call it. You may have a different term for it, but I'm just repairing the seams and holes in place. Step number two is to spot clean. This was actually the main reason I took this dress out to fix it up as I knew I had spilt coffee and I had a few other stains on the dress. So simply I just take a section of the dress where it has the mark. I dampen this with just water and I'll try and remove that just using my hands. If I feel like this stain isn't coming out, I'll then take a little bit of laundry powder, rub this in and rinse it in really thoroughly. If you have a really fragile dress, a spot clean may be all you need to launder this item. If you have an incredibly fragile dress, you may only wish to spot clean it, removing any stains and also washing under the underarm area where often bad smells and discoloration is caused. Whenever you add water to your item or use a detergent, be very careful that it doesn't remove the color of the dress, it doesn't leak onto the other sections of the dress if there's different colors mixed together. You just want to be very cautious as you don't want to ruin your beautiful vintage gown. Step three for cleaning this dress is I gave it a bath soap and this is really common for washing your vintage clothing as these items usually can't be put in the washing machine. I simply filled up a bathtub with enough water that the dress could be fully submerged. For this dress I did add a bit of laundry powder but if you are worried about color leaking just use normal water and this should be enough to remove any dirt and grime from your dress. If this is the first time you're washing a vintage dress or a specific vintage dress it's worth just being careful of the color run we spoke about before. I'd recommend when you first submerge the dress make sure there's no color leaking and if it looks all good go back and check in 10 minutes and then every half an hour after that. For this dress today I just let it soak for about an hour just to remove any additional dirt and grime. Depending on what you've used in your bathtub if you've simply just used normal water with no laundry powder you can take the dress out and just squeeze this to remove any excess water. I would highly recommend not wringing the item as this is when you can cause more damage in your dress. If like like me use laundry powder. I simply then just took this to my sink. You could probably do it in the shower but I just didn't want to get wet while I was getting all of this together. And I'm just giving a light rinse through and then just again squeezing out the excess water. Step number four is drying your item. Depending on the fabric and a few other factors, there may be a few different ways you want to dry this. You can flat lay it on something nice and clean and just let it dry that way if you're worried about the item stretching out. But for this dress, I just hung it up on a coat hanger outside in a shaded area. You'll definitely want to be careful of sun damage. If you hang an item up in the sun, it may actually discolor from the sunlight. So definitely be careful of this too. Step number five is to remove any creases and lines from your garment. The way I would 
would best recommend for this would be to use a clothing steamer. I have a little kit that I just bought from Kmart which includes the little coat hanger and you hang your dress up and you just steam from the inside of the garment. It's good to usually do a little bit of a test patch on an area that can't be seen just to ensure it doesn't damage or discolor the fabric. And that had this dress looking all fabulous and ready to wear again. If vintage fashion topics are something that interests you, I would definitely love to hear from you in the comments below if you'd love to see more videos like this. If you have your own tips for vintage dress care, be sure to let us know in the comments below too, as both myself and everyone else on this channel would love to hear from you. As always, if you'd like to stay up to date with all my vintage fun, be sure to follow me on Instagram, I'll pop a little link here, as well as the end of the video. I'm completely addicted and post there soon super regularly. As always, if you'd like to never miss out on one of my glamorous videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and I'll be seeing you all real soon.